This is what we did last time, okay? This is what we did last time, right? We've got food in our... He's a, he has a little bit of stranger danger, just... <laughs> tap, 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 tap. How are tap. you? Okay. You're gonna work with me. Come on, let's go. He's like, I'm distracted, then. Oh, that's Gromit. He's um, a singer. <laughs> nope. You're gonna, we gotta work, buddy. Tap, tap. Okay. Tap, 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 tap. He's like, wanting none of it. Alright, that's fine. He's like, moving away from me. There you go. Come here, Alice. Okay, come here, buddy. Tap, tap, tap. Oh, we're seeing some proficiency. Tap, tap. Very nice. Tap. I should, I barely touch his tummy. He comes up. That's great. So once we see proficiency in all of the tactiles, good fast response. Yeah, it's very good, Atlas. Then now we can move on to set step two, right? And he's not being very pretty because he doesn't want me to do it. He wants you to do it. <laughs> Whatever. He'll live. Sit. <laughs> That's Gromit. Did you hear that puppy? Gromit has drama. That's why he's here. Tap, tap, tap. Then a stand. And we maintain the stand. So this is what I meant when I said like seven stands in a row, right? Tap, tap. Keep him. Keep and then this comes in. I'm gonna make you straight, right? Tap, tap. Tap, tap. Then I can wait for a second. Good boy. I didn't have to tap there. Tap, tap. Hello. Tap, tap. There you go. So the tap, tap, the command off the hand becomes a cue for food almost. You gotta go, you gotta go sideways. I corrected him with the food. Tap, tap. I said, Mom, did you see that? That's where I was having the trouble keep getting him to stay down. And I helped. Nothing happens till he settled into it. There, see, like how he settled? Mm -hmm. Then I bring. Tap, tap. I'm not in a rush to reward him. It's more important that my hand is on time than my food is on time. Tap, tap. That's the, then I tapped and he looked right away. Tap, yeah. tap. Good boy. Now he's figuring it out. So this is step two, kind of, right? So we see proficiency in the individual motions, but no commitment. So now I want some commitment. I want to build more commitment. And that's what we're going to do with each one. So if the down is his least committed. It definitely is. Just keep doing the tap. I'm just, I'm just oh, reminding him right now. Forcing him. around and he's and he's crying there's conflict in his head when he's not crying good and, and he's quiet and he's looking at the target and staying in the position there's clarity in his head the crying is a result of, not, of lack of clarity or the conflict <laughs> Good. Look at me, bud. That's good. You want to try? <laughs> sure. And this is when, so that's when we, come on, we're getting up. Okay. Oh, wow. Create struggle for himself. And that's when we can start to then say, I want to stand. You must stay in the stand until I say otherwise. Now I want to sit. I want to sit. <laughs> he was doing that. I know. He knows <laughs> it. He got excited because you came over. I want to stand. Now I want another stand. Now I want another stand. Now I want another stand. Now I want to down. Right? So then I can do multiples. Oh, shush. Oh, really? You're fine. Don't be. Look how <laughs> sad it is. He was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> he's all right. Tap, tap. Good boy. Then I want to sit again. Good boy. And you can do multiples and then give him a bigger chunk for multiples. He's like, oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. Tap, tap, tap. Oh. Yeah, it's very good. And you can always reward more, since the down is the one he struggles with the most, right. you can reward, reward more and spend more time with the down. <laughs> oh, he's, he's got drama, but he's all right. Tap, tap. Good boy. So you could do, like, reward for one out of every three sits and stands, since he's good at those ones, and he's pretty, he'll, he, he'll stand here, because 
Dogs who are nervous don't like to lay down, right? It's the opposite of what they want. It's like they're the opposite of what their brain is doing. So when you're asking them to lay down, no wonder it's hard for him, mm -hmm. right? Sits easier too, because it's a half active sit. It's a half active position. He's still up. He's being good. Oh, am I being, oh no. You wanna try? Sure. Whoops. Ow. Up. Atlas. So as soon as he, so that we can even call this place. Come on, place. Place. Atlas good place. boy. So as soon as he got off, I allowed pressure to happen and then help him get back on and the pressure goes away. I go, okay, thank goodness, my mom's okay. gonna do it. My mom's gonna do it. So you're holding, and then this is the part too where for you, your food hand is out here in front. There's the middle and your hand is here. And it goes up and down and in from this point, but it's here in the half, okay? And that's what keeps him stable. That keeps him facing the right direction. So it feels awkward at first to be like this and doing things to a dog. Good. Now wait for, that's not, that's nice, I would give. He stayed, that's great. Nice. And now next time, tap, tap, then move your food. So you kind of moved your food, then tap. Right. You're and I didn't this, even really need this to. This brings the food. But you want to anyway, because you're reinforcing. That's right, what he's doing. And then he looks. So that's what we're kind of creating as well. That pressure is communication that leads, that signals Tap, tap, food. Beautiful, I love it. And if you tap and he looks back at your food, give him food. So we're giving him the idea that, tap, tap, very nice, give. That That's the pressure, hand. which is communication, is a signal for the opportunity for a reward. So when you're, you're using your leash correctly and when you're using your e-collar correctly, you can do the same thing. He could get a little bit out of heel and you could tap that e-collar and he's like, oh, that's what I wanna see. Cause he's like, oh, that usually leads to food when we're learning. Like, Mom, look at all my new toys we're going to play with today, Atlas. Oh, I'm getting a whole bunch of stuff built. It's going to be awesome. Cool. Out. He'll do it himself. You don't have to use the lure anymore because he. <laughs> Split. <laughs> That's my favorite thing he does. Was he doing the cross? Yeah. No. no. He's been doing the splint. Wait till he looks. Tap, tap. Look, bring it in a little bit. There it is. Good Ooh. boy. Tap, tap, give it. That's great. That's great. Good. That's excellent. I love that. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. You can keep working on that, and you're just making him without, there's no pattern now. You're just having him hold the positions longer um, and maintaining no food comes until I see some commitment and you're relaxed into the position. Like, I guess I am laying down for a while. That's awesome. Thank you.